Yo, what's going on, sexy sailor underscore? Today we're here doing a ranked one v one. I'm playing a little bit of Freya. Uh, I have not played Freya a lot recently, and the main reasoning behind that is because H of All exists in the game, and I, I, I know I don't buy H of All a lot, but if you are against a mage, uh, H of All by itself will probably carry you through the early game and the mid game because. What it all does is it gives you 20 power while also minusing out 40 power from your enemy, 40 magical power. Um, and mages can't buy it, so they have no way to counteract that like physical gods can. Because if someone buys Ichaval against you as a physical, you simply just buy Ichaval yourself, and then it's even Stevens, and you just cancel out. So that's that. But I think I'm going to go Bancroft's here first item. I could actually just go this. This is what, 40 power? And 20% attack speed is really nice. Um, and then 15 base pen honestly is a really good starter item. But it has no lifesteal at all, which I don't love. But Such but I, I don't know, 20% attack speed is crazy though, right? I'm gonna try it. This could definitely be a mistake. I'm not uh I'm not confident in this being a good start, but I'm going to try my best. I also really don't want him to get red buff because he's Hercules already. His damage is crazy. Um, I'm just going to invade here. Minions have spawned. Yeah, he is over here doing red. I saw him. I don't know if he sees me or not. I want to wait for his abilities. Ah, all right. Not great. Not great. My damage actually feels really nice, though. I'm not going to lie. Wait, what is that? 60 damage per auto at level 3? He does have blink. I feel like I'm not that scared of his damage right now in comparison to mine. Obviously, I am if I get freaking plucked, but if he's not plucking me... I feel I feel pretty safe. I will say it kind of sucks because obviously he clears significantly better than I do. But what are you gonna do about that? Hello? Can I wave here? Hello? Oh, ho, ho. that was nice. That felt good. I'm going to use my uh, my horn chart here just to clear because he missed his... Him missing his one gives me priority here where he has to use a lot of his HP or uh, fighting stuff to clear wave. Which gives me exactly what you saw. Like I said, such an advantage in not only pressure of potential red buff, but also, because he has to use all of his offensive abilities, like his 1 and his 2, <clears throat> and his HP in order to clear the wave, I am basically incentivized to greed and be angry on him. You know, like, just kind of run him down. And I'm not saying that it's the best play or the smartest play, what I did, to use my wing shard on the wave. Um, but I do think it giving me a strategical advantage towards not only the objective, but also the, the fight at hand. I think is uh, very big. I think that was a really smart play by me. And I'm not very, I'm not proud of my plays very often, but I'm proud of that one. That one did well. And now I got Ring of Hikate, which is basically the only reason I, I started this item is because 15 base pen is crazy. Oh, that was a well, well played ult or a well played blink. Although it doesn't matter because, like I said, I have 15 base pens, so anything he thinks he's going to do to me, I'll just do to him instead. Like, I auto him for 120 at, at level 7 with one item, you know, like. It doesn't really matter what he thinks he can do to me. I, I just don't, I just don't believe in it right now. I'm going to horn chart again here, or wing chart, I'm sorry. And the reason is the exact same as last time I wing sharded. I'm going to do it for pressure. 
the treasure chests have spawned. I was hoping they spawned over here, but even if they didn't, I still get the XP camp. Um, and I don't need my horn shard to out damage him here. So I'm going to go Berserkers. Uh, a safe defensive item that also gives me a little bit of attack speed in the... Well, not right now, but in the future. Actually, it does give attack speed right now because when you're in combat with an enemy god, every every one second... No, every five seconds, you gain 1% attack speed. So if you're in combat for a long-ass time, you actually do gain quite a bit of attack speed. 10%. Oh, I'm I'm actually dead here. Oh, those minions just fucking cooked me. I think I'm definitely dead here. I have to not get knocked up. Nice. Now I can kill him, maybe? No. Alright, well that was good though. That was good for me. Oh, that hit me. That's not good. Um, now, he has blink, so maybe I need to be a little careful. But I don't know. I also have alt, so maybe I don't care at all. God damn. Okay. No, I definitely care. Holy crap, he does so much damage. Alright. That's a little unfortunate for me. Not unfortunate. I mean, un unfortunate would mean, like, I hit the buff, it had one HP left, and then he stole it. You know, that's unfortunate. That's something you can't really control. But... I just missed a lot. So, I got on. Wow, that attack speed difference on that Berserker shield? Holy crap. That feels so nice. Honestly, I don't feel that bad picking a blue buff. It does suck because he's he's got dominance into Frostbound. So he's going to be like super tanky. His Frostbound just makes you that much tanky and it lowers my attack speed. Um, So he's going to feel super tanky and pump out a lot of damage because the red buff plus dominance. But maybe it's okay. If he, does, if he never hits me with that frostbound, I'm chilling. Okay. I don't think you win these. Nice. That was a good alt to clear the wave, but sadly a little bit too little too late. I do get XP camp. I don't think his blue is up. What's my next item? I'm thinking probably Bancrofts. I really would like some life steal at this point. I know I'm life stealing a little bit just because of my passive, but uh, I, I don't think that's enough life steal right now. Uh, he does take kind of a lot. About a 500 bot. If I kill him here, that's massive for me. He wants to hit me in the tower. That's why I have to position the way I was. I really don't want him backing. I also don't want to be pulled into tower. Hmm. Him backing is bad just because he gains like so much value out of that red pot. If I kill him, he loses this game straight up. Which is why I was trying so hard to kill him. Um, I don't know. Attack speed seems like it might be good too. I just feel like I'm a little scared to forego. Oh, we got he got beads right now, by the way. He did just get a second relic. My second relic more than likely is going to be... Hold on. I really would like to... Ah, wow. Okay, that was... 
That was crazy how tanky he just got all of a sudden. His point is down, right? Nice. Nice. Red buff is nice. The Bancrofts is helping me a lot. Man, it's it's insane how tanky he got off of that like one tier two item. Your blue isn't up, correct? It is up. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. You know what's just as valuable? What's just as valuable as killing him with a red buff is making sure. Oh my god, I did not think he saw blink up. I definitely die here, right? Oh. Okay, so there's both relics and he did dumpster me. I, I don't think I have the fighting capabilities right now to throw hands with him. I think I need more attack speed. The best way to get attack speed is through demonic. Apparently. Um... I guess I go bead second relic, right? So maybe I could just stop him from hitting his one on me once. He's going to get both my kill and my blue, which sucks. Oh, he didn't do my blue. Okay. That's good. That is good. And then once I get my demonic online, I have the option to either go Typhons or to go into more attack speed. And then my last item is obviously going to be hastened. It just, it just has to be hastened, right? How did that even hit me? God damn, bro. What the fuck? Okay. Turns out with Frostbound and Pestilence, he actually doesn't take damage. My mistake. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. That 500 potty bot, by the way, super paid off for him. Him getting that kill on me with a 30% bounty is insanely good. I'm actually I'm actually behind now. Your under um Demonic's gonna help a little bit, but it won't help a lot. He's probably going Jotuns for cooldown, I'd imagine. Yeah. I don't think I can kill him. I think pestilence is too good of an item. I think Pestilence is too good of an item. I hit him for a 50, by the way. Mm. Oh, I'm so dead here. probably be for 400 jesus oh wow just get the wave please all right um hasten is gonna be super important for me here i think hasten will actually give me a lot and then i might just go typhons anyway even though he has pestilence I might just go Typhons. I don't understand his damage output, to be honest with you. It is it is far too high. It's beyond human comprehension. And I do none. I brought a proximity ward on accident, by the way. Oops. All right. Honestly, a beads for 75 gold is crazy good for me. I should be fine here. He's not able to... um, I don't actually think you can fight me like this right now. Oh, maybe you can if you hit that. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Please tell me he doesn't have blink up. Um. All 
Alright, his red paw ran out, which is really good for me. Um, I don't think it's enough to save my tower, though. Dude, with hastened, I could kill him so easy. Grab hastened. Um, maybe it's enough for something. He's probably gonna go beat stick, right? If he goes beat stick, I just say fuck the life steal, and I just go into more attack speed. I think. I think that's the safest option. I just go like Telkines or or Cyclopean or something. All right, his blink being down is fucking god tier for me. That is that is the best thing I could have asked for. Oh hello. That that is good for me. Might not seem good, but it is. His ult is down, my ult is down, but I have both relics up. I have pressure over him for red buff, finally. Sason is doing the work. It has given him the work. I'm okay with this so far. Okay. He is cooking me. He is cooking me with these jukes. Not enough to kill him. He didn't pick up the red buff, though. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Not enough to kill. But he didn't pick up the red. If he doesn't actually pick up that red, then him getting red buff is meaningless, obviously. He got Hydra's... He is going for red. He's going to get it. Damn. Oh, he didn't get it. Did he? He turned around a little bit too quick, I feel like. He didn't get it. Alright, I'm Cyclopean ringed up, which gives me a percentage of his max health, which is good because he's 2700 of it. Uh, I'm basically max attack speed. He got a 500 pot again. Okay. He's very tanky. I feel like I should have gone some sort of anti-heal or something. Especially because he is the Jotuns, right? Nope. He does have blink. If he blinks, I ult. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is blink and alt. I lose tower here, but I think it's fine because I just go this. The balance is perfect. That gives me nine stacks, so that gives me 18 auto attack damage. And some attack speed too, actually. I wonder if I should go Typhons instead. Oh my god, it saved tower. Saving towers there is so good because if he was doing bull demon, now it's useless. It's not useless, but less good. Obviously. Okay. Walk it off. 
Nice. So good for me. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he greeted like that. Out of all the things he could have done. By the way, I think he was doing Bull Demon, actually. I think he was doing Bull Demon. His positioning made it seem like Bull Demon was the only thing he cared about. Because Rock was up and he, he didn't do Rock. So... I think me saving tower really threw a wrench in his plans. I'm gonna do bull demon and then I'm gonna run straight to red. And then I'm just gonna try to fight again. Uh, he's got no beads. He's got no blink, correct? Although blink is much faster cooldown than me. I'm just gonna do that. I don't love halting that, but whatever. I think I'm fine to fight. I just need to be careful. Dying here would be tragic. Damn, I'm slow. Nice. GG. Holy crap. That guy played really well. He played really well. He he was one hitting me so often. Like, even though the score line says four to one, it looks like I had a dominating performance. I was on the back foot 90% of that game, and I only just got ahead with that with that one kill. So GG. That was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.